Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. This morning we're back out on the range and we're finally out here we're again with our Ruger PC9 carbine and we're going to test out the uh, Victory Trigger from Tandem Cross which we installed just recently. Alright and if you guys can see there might be some glare but again we have the, uh, there we go right there, the Tandem Cross uh, Trigger. It's uh, the Victory Trigger. It's from Tandem Cross again. Uh, we installed it. Pretty simple install. It doesn't take too long. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, test that out today. See how it functions, see how it works, and see if it's something that I like. So let's go ahead and get at it. So we're back from taking the Ruger PC9 carbine out today. Again, we, were, uh, we went ahead and we took it out because we recently installed the Victory uh, trigger from um, Tandem Cross. As you guys can see, we have the trigger right there. Um, it actually worked out really nice. I liked it. Um, something that I don't know if you guys knew or not, but let's go ahead and we're going to test the actual uh, trigger pull on it. Um, get this in view and as you guys can see it's a four pound uh, trigger pull on that trigger and uh, it's four pounds every time I've done it many um, so now the reset on it let's see if you guys can see the reset here There you go. Not that much space. It's kind of hard because it's not clear. I apologize. Um, but not that much space. You have to let it up and then it will go ahead and uh, it's reset for you. But other than that, the trigger itself feels very nice. Um, I enjoyed using it. Um, I think it's a hundred times better than the standard plastic trigger that uh, Ruger sent with uh, the version of... Um, the PC carving that I bought which I've had this for over a year I know they have different models now the Ruger PC9 carving I'm not sure if they swapped out the type of triggers that they send out with it but mine came with a plastic one again the victory trigger from Tandem Cross works great it's 50 bucks from Tandem Cross uh, super easy install nothing too difficult or anything like that so other than that we're essentially like I said I believe we're essentially done here uh, with the uh, Ruger here um, we have the we added the red dot um, we added the combat rail here we added the um, strike industries foreign grip uh, we added the enforce 800 looms light we swapped out the uh, mag release for one by a uh, tandem cross along with obviously the trigger um, the only other thing that we're going to do which I'll do more as a uh, instructional type of video is I will go ahead and show you guys how you swap out the um, the mag well right here so that you can go ahead and uh, use the Glock mags with it. Right now I still have the one that came with it so I can still only use the Ruger mags which Ruger mags for me work perfectly fine. But for those of you who like Glock mags or you want the you know 33 or however many round mags um, I'll do a video on basically how to swap out that mag well. Other than that, that's it for today you guys. Uh, again if you guys have any other thoughts or things you'd like to see done to the weapon let me know. Uh, we'll now be moving into one of our Glock projects. Um, I will be finishing up my 12-gauge uh, Remington uh, project. I have a few more things to do to that weapon, uh, but the Glock one will start here soon. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by and checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and you guys have a good day.